This is a Behind the Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by the Payo Vets, where veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. May 30, 2016. This video is an internship instruction video to teach intern how to do a diagnosis of a medical condition in a five-year-old female terrapin that has come in about uh, two weeks ago with an egg stuck in the Chloe car that the terrapin could not eat and drink because the well-formed egg was stuck inside the Chloe car and uh, could not come out so the terrapin could not pee, could not poop and uh, there's a backflow couldn't urinate or so, so it came in for consultation at Tuapaya Vets. We, we can see the egg, so we puncture the egg with the syringe to suck out the contents, break the eggs and then uh, send the terrapin back after it starts to eat the next day. So the terrapin went home and uh, at that time there was no x-ray done of the egg in the curricula because it was obvious. The terrapin went home, it was eating the next few days. After about a week, the, the, the owner came and said that the terrapin, this terrapin, stopped eating for the next four days. So, based on the history, what do you think is the cause of the problem? I'm asking the intern, okay. We will first conduct a physical examination. We will look from the front to the back for any external injuries. Looking at the back, if you look at the cloaca, the cloaca opening is loose instead of being closed as it should be. Well, let me see. Wait. It is. Can you see? Yeah, yeah correct. Wait. Let me see. Yeah, it's, it's loose. Yeah, correct. The opening is loose. Okay. The vent. Okay, then. What next are you going to do? Physical now, examination. Yeah. After physical examination is done, you'll go on to further lab test. One blood test. Second, urine test, third, x rays, and fourth, ultrasound. There are now four tentative differential diagnoses, first of which is based on the medical history obstruction to the cloaca caused by egg or foreign obstruction caused by stones in the aquarium. Second, it could also be due to infections due to dirty water. Third, it could be due to external injuries caused by fall and that might injure his internal organs as well. Fourth, it could be due to tumours, due to its old age. So based on its medical history of egg binding, you go on to conduct x-rays. Okay, come, let's go and see the x-ray. Okay, come, let me see the x-ray. Okay, come. Okay, so, so the terrapin, wait, wait, the x-ray, uh, this is x-ray in a tank, in a tank because otherwise it will be running away, running all over the place. Now we show the, the terrapin has, has been, uh, is being x-rayed. There's a picture taken, so you can see he's enclosed in a plastic tank. Uh, so you couldn't run around, otherwise we wouldn't have a clear x-ray. So this is before x-ray or before the x-ray beam is pressed. Okay, the, now we see the image now of the x-ray taken. Okay, so what do you see? Um, there are 50 stones and one eggshell is pointed by the arrow in the cloaca. So, you can see from this slide? It's a red-eared slider, female, 5 years, and it has not been eating for the past 4 days. From this actual image, there are 50 stones and one eggshell is pointed by the arrow obstructing the cloaca. Because of this, it cannot pee and poop. Mm. And because of the obstruction, it it becomes ill and then loses appetite. So what's the diagnosis? Clerical infection. Mm, clerical infection. So the diagnosis is confirmed by x-ray. Okay, so what's the treatment? The treatment is to remove these stones and it shall by using a faucet. So how do you remove? By, by cutting open? Uh, we'll or how? You we'll just use a faucet to, to internally remove the stones and it shall in cloaca. Cloaca, yeah. yeah to pick up the stones and the flush of the stones. Yeah. Okay, now you can see the therapy now. Come, when so the therapy is hospitalized. So the therapy has been here for three days. 
Okay, after she so now you pour warm water because terpenes can only eat when when they, they have water, they cannot eat directly. So get ready the food in front of the face. See whether it's eating or not. So is it eating? Yes. So so after three days hospitalization, you can see from here the therapy is eating. So his appetite is very good. So put some more in. So this shows that uh, he's no more sick. And uh, 50 stones from the tank has been removed. And uh, he is going home today. Anyone just put one by one. Yeah. Now if you want to put medication, you are supposed to put it onto the pellets and then the, the terrapine will eat the, the pellets together, the medication. Now this terrapine is used to eating pellets, so, so that's why you can see he's eating the pellets. Yeah. So once the appetite is returned, it's, it's back. So this terrapin goes home today. Now let him finish all. Actually, they can eat about 40 to 60 pellets. This terrapin is five years old female, has a very good appetite. And uh, the pebbles have been taken out. So after duty for the pebbles. So evidence of, of uh, removal of the stone and the eggs. Okay. You can see the, but you can see uh, on the right is the eggshell. On the left are the 50 stones, which have been removed from the clay car. And uh, so the owner has been advised not to put any more small stones on the on the bottom of the of the current tank, as this terrapin likes to swallow them. So the overall diagnosis is clay car infection and uh, the treatment is extraction using forceps. Prevention is not to put any more peppers or small stones in the aquarium. May 30th to 6th, Papaya Vets.